What's the matter, sweetheart? Every Saturday in August is completely booked for the venue. Seriously? Yes. This is why we booked it months in advance, but you know. Louis. What? He's right there. I know. What, what did I say? <sighs> Any other days available in August? Third Tuesday is available for the entire afternoon. I could do Tuesday. Catering company charges more on Tuesdays. Mm, how much more? An extra six dollars an hour. You know what? We could swing that. Can we? I'll make it work. Book the Tuesday. Remy? Hmm? I'm just heading out for a bit, sweetie. I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Bye, Dad. Okay. Love you. Love you. Love you, too. Hello? Yes, Remy? Are you mad at me? Why would I be mad at you? Uh, I don't know, maybe because I ruined your wedding. You didn't ruin it, you more postponed it than anything else. Yeah, now you're going through this much trouble trying to reschedule everything. Wouldn't have to do that if I hadn't been such an idiot. I'm not putting up with the negative self-talk, it's counterproductive. You never answered my question. <sighs> I'm frustrated at the situation, but I'm not mad at you. It's not your fault. You couldn't control it any more than the rest of us could. I could, though. I'm the one who... did it. While you were in a dissociative state, which spawned from months of unchecked emotional distress, to a point autonomy stops being a factor, and I'll stop tugging on your hair. Not... As low quality as they may be, I still have eyes for me. You don't need to keep holding on to this anxiety. I'm not mad at you, nobody else is. Okay, well maybe you should be. It would be completely illogical to be angry at you for something you arguably had no control over. Now may I pose a hypothesis? Sure. I think that you're mad at yourself. And so you want me or anybody else to be mad at you so that you feel justified in that anger. But the truth of the matter is there is no point in being angry at yourself over this because it already happened. You overdosed intentionally. You fell into a comatose state, but you woke up, you survived, and somehow there's no long-lasting damage to your liver or any other part of your body other than your mind. Any anger you hold towards yourself at that is irrational, though I know it feels real, and you should be talking it through with your therapist. I'm just telling you that I'm not mad at you, nobody else is mad at you, and none of this is your fault, okay? No, okay. What do you mean, no? I don't know what it is, but no matter how many people tell me that it's okay and it's not my fault, it still feels like it is. I'm not gonna lie and say that I understand, but from what I can gather, that's a fairly typical response to something like this. And one you should be talking through with Angie. You do understand how blaming yourself is irrational when you're not the one who traumatized you. Right? Yeah, okay, I guess so. Okay, good. Because believe it or not, I do want you in my wedding. But I want you to be healthy enough to be able to enjoy yourself. Okay? Okay. Your mental health is very important to me, Remy. I want you to get better. I love you too. Now go grab a fidget toy, you're making the entire floor shake. Yeah, okay. <laughs>